Oh, <laughs> that's so good. This, my friend, is my proprietary flying stick. It's kind of a tangent to the brushless landing rocket project. I was wondering if gimbaling motors or thrust vectoring motors would be um, effective to control a rocket coming out of a free fall. So I built this and it has a gimbaling motor on the top and a gimbaling motor on the bottom. Now this thing would probably hover just fine with only one gimbaling motor and a fixed motor, but I thought I would need more control coming out of a free fall, so I made both motors gimbaling. It's running iNav and I'm using iNav because they have a really good motor mixer interface, so it makes creating weird... <laughs> flying aircraft like this easier. Um, the yaw is controlled by the motor speed. This one speeds up, this one slows down, you know, just like a multi-rotor. And then obviously pitch and roll are controlled by the gimbaling. So right now I'm just gonna kind of hover around the field and fly it like you would a multi-rotor, I guess. I've got a little FPV camera on there to help better orient myself because it kind of looks the same from all directions. And then if all works well, I'll take it up high and let it fall, I'll just cut the motors completely, let it go into a free fall, and then see if it'll recover when I raise the throttle. Well, see you next time. I put a GoPro on it and I'm gonna try and do a little FPV. fly as well as a quadcopter, so that's to be expected. Woohoo, going fast. <laughs> it's no race quad, but it flies, that's for damn sure. In the last video, people were freaking out because they thought that I didn't know that geese was plural for gooses. Calm down, people. It's okay. They are quite majestic. And it is most definitely a herd of gooses. <laughs> God damn it. Flying FPV around the office park proved that this thing flies pretty darn well. So if you think about it, this control system of gimbaling motors is actually more similar to the full-scale rockets like the SpaceX Falcon 9 because they vector their motors around too. But anyways, the time has come. It's the moment of truth. I'm going to take it up real high, cut the throttle, let it drop, and then raise the throttle and see if it will save itself from doom. That was absolutely awful. What happened is I cut the throttle and it stayed upright. It was falling, <laughs> as you can see, it was falling upright and it just got moving so quickly that when I raised the throttle, I didn't even hear the motors start to s spin up, to be honest. It just went right into the ground. Oh, this thing's not even recording. Let's pull this out of the earth. Oh, that is a sandy motor. It's a bummer that I now don't really know if this thing would have worked. Like, you know, if this will stabilize out of a free fall. Because it didn't have the opportunity to stabilize itself. It didn't get the chance. It was just too low. I raised the throttle too low and it was going too fast. Well, this, this top one still works. So maybe I will fix it up, glue this servo back on, and then try it with just the top motor gimbling. Oh well, that's what happens when you experiment with volatile things like this. So I just fixed the lower motor in place, no gimbaling mount. I'm just gonna take this thing up and drop it, and I doubt it's gonna work, but I'm just gonna do it again to put this project to rest. Yeah, it's got obviously half the control. It's still got quite a bit of control with just one gimbaling motor. Like the rates are pretty quick still on the control. Wow, it's windy. Oh! 
Oh, wow, that was a pleasant surprise. So despite the fact that this thing is crashed over here in the weeds, that totally worked. Let's see, broke some props, the servo got knocked off, but it's still in fine condition. It could fly again if I put new props on it. It totally stabilized itself and came out of that free fall there. Um, it just didn't do it fast enough. I raised the throttle pretty high that time, but it just wasn't quite high enough. But it totally stabilized itself, so that's good. Um, yeah, this thing is still flyable, but <laughs> I think I'm over it. So it worked, but I think it's clear that it's inferior to the other control systems that I've been testing, like the four little quadcopter motors up top or the thrust vectoring fins. It's just not quite as stable. Maybe it would have been with, with the other gimbaling motor on there, but I'm just not gonna put the time into rebuilding this thing once again. I've got better projects to be working on. So anyways, um, hope you thought this was a interesting little build. Um, I'd say the highlight was definitely flying FPV with it because it actually worked so well. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, bye.